Let's talk about the weather because for some people it will be the favorite weather. I got some messages from skiers last night who about, are all for this. About the snowflakes oh, that yes. are falling. You already got a report of it, Eric. Yep, and on the Berkshires, it is now snowing. So it's official. First flakes in Massachusetts have arrived. We've popped the top on a little change in the seasons here around here. And not like what we saw five years ago. Remember five years back, it was right after Hurricane Sandy. There was actually a couple weeks later a pretty significant snowstorm. It brought up to a foot of snow in Connecticut and almost a half foot in Worcester. So once you get to this time of the year, certainly that S word does start to show up a little bit more. The warm air has been pushed down to the Gulf Coast states. The colder air much more in control. And we're watching a wave of low pressure that's moving off to our south tonight. A lot of dry air in place, but we are seeing at least a little bit of light snow across the Berkshires, and your best chance this evening will be with a little bit of elevation. So places like the Berkshires, the Worcester Hills, the Monadnocks, likely to see at least a little bit of light snowfall. What you're seeing down here by the Connecticut coastline, this is bright banding. This is where snowflakes are actually melting up above our heads. That tends to show up as a really bright area on radar, so it's not pouring rain. It's just that melt layer that you're seeing. So perhaps a few flurries now falling across southern New Hampshire. If you see anything going on outside, let us know. You can always send us an email or a tweet. I'd like to hear from you. Otherwise, just a really chilly night. Temperatures ranging from the upper 30s to upper 40s right now. And we'll likely see light raindrops on the south coast and the Cape. The one spot where there's really no chance of seeing the snow this evening. Maybe into the Boston area, a few flurries. Again, your best chance is with some elevation. Now, tomorrow morning, we start off with some cloud cover. The clouds will likely hold on across southeastern Massachusetts. These will be ocean effect clouds with the wind coming out of the northeast. The water's still really warm, but the air is cold and so that will keep gray and kind of raw conditions around southeastern Massachusetts tomorrow. So tonight some light rain and snow temps falling into the 30s across the region. Chilly start to the day tomorrow with some of that cloud cover and then brightening up. Temperatures stay cool in the 40s and again with that breeze and the cloud cover in southeastern Massachusetts it will feel extra raw outside during the day for our Wednesday. Then we into Thursday, probably the pick of the week. We have temps just a little above 50, bright skies. This is ahead of our Arctic fronts. That front arrives right in the pre-dawn hours on Friday morning. That's good news because there'll likely be some snow squalls and showers along it. Those can be really dangerous for traffic, but I think they'll be most likely in the middle of the night. Most of Friday features cold wind, very gusty outside, and very, very chilly, like midwinter outdoors. Best chance for some accumulating snow squalls will be across northern New England and the Berkshires. Again, maybe a few flakes here in southern New England. For most part, it's about the air for us. By Friday morning, wind chill values are falling into the 20s. By the afternoon, it's the teens and 20s and definitely feeling like it's in the teens on Friday night. Then on Saturday morning, these are your actual air temperatures. Teens and 20s, the 20s all the way down to Nantucket. That is near record level for this time of the year. So a huge change compared to what we just saw yesterday even where some towns hit 70. Cold weekend for us and then a little bit of moderation by Sunday afternoon. David and Lisa, back to you.